Hi YouTube. It has been a very long time. Um, I just did this video just to check in. Um, I know we're all experiencing some very strange things right now in this country. So I just want to check in and say hi. It's been a while. I am coming with more videos. Um, I have the got to start writing stuff down, getting stuff together, and then I will definitely be back on more um, regular on YouTube. Um, so before I just jump off, I just want to give you guys a, a you know a little self care tip. You just in this time, we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our sanity. You know, there's so much stress and anxiety going around. And trust me, it like it jumps from person to person to person. And it doesn't just leave when it jumps. It stretches its arm on millions and millions of people. Anxiety, depression. It's enough that COVID has thrown so many people overboard. Now this election and everything that's taking place in the U.S., all this corruption being exposed, so many things happening. You know, so at times like this, it's good to focus on you. Take care of you. Don't worry about what's going on. You know, you pray, you leave it to God. You trust that God will work it out and then you move on from it. Still trusting that God will work it out. So you take care of yourself. You take care of your mental health. Mental health right now has been, oh my gosh, it has skyrocketed. And one of the things is that, there's so many in need, but there's not that many therapists. And um, it's it's not good. It's, it doesn't make me happy to say no to clients. But then I have to take in consideration that if I pile on the caseload, I'm going to be in a worse situation than my clients because I'm going to be burnt out. You know, but as I said, take care of you. Take care of yourself. I'm just touching base. I will start streaming more regularly by God's grace as he gives me the content to bring to you guys. Um, turn off the TV. You don't need to see the news the whole entire day. You don't need to hear about the election the whole entire day. You don't need to hear about what's going on with the result the whole entire day. Turn off. Walk away. Go outside. Look at nature. Spend time with your family. Love on your kids. They're growing. You know, they're growing. Every day they get bigger and bigger. Love on your kids. You know, just do stuff to alleviate the stress, to alleviate the anxiety. If you need a therapist, see a therapist. Because it's good to talk about these things. You know, it's good to express these things. And to start writing, start journaling. Journal how does this these things that are going on in this country how are they affecting you journal write letters to yourself five years down the road you know in this condition that you're in right now where you expect yourself to be set goals that's another thing that you can do as well in this time set goals where do i want to be in five years how do i want where do i want to be mentally physically spiritually and emotionally in five years or you want to do it in a year 2021 Start setting 2021 goals because when you set a goal, you have something to look forward to and to work towards. Right now, the country's at a standstill, right? So you don't know where to where to turn. There's not no there's no goals right now being created by this nation. So you create your own goals. Where do you see yourself? in mid-2021. What would you like to accomplish in 2021? What would you like to accomplish with your family in 2021? Um, in five years, 10 years, 20 years, be proactive. I would say be proactive. Engage yourself in your purpose. What has God called you for? What is your purpose? How can you use this downtime, this chaotic time to your benefit? How can you use the circumstances of COVID to your benefit? Think about it. Because I guarantee you, you'll find if it's even one way that you can use the situation going on right now in this country to your benefit. What can you learn from it? Take a step back and look. What is it teaching you? What can you learn from it? You know, and then when you realize what you can learn from it, now how can you apply that to wisdom to better your life? At this point, we all need to be focused on, ourse on ourselves. Pray for this country. Trust the Lord will do it. 
focus on yourself and make sure you are stable, you are well, and you are good. Self-care is so, 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 so important. Don't let it fall by the wayside. You are too important to fail. You're too important to be destroyed. Anxiety and depression and the panic attacks and all of that. You are too important. Too important. Trust me. You are too important to be succumbed to these things that are happening in this country. Guys, stay blessed. I will be coming on more regularly by the grace of God. My life is very busy. My schedule is very busy. And the Lord has only granted us 24 hours in a day and eight of those we're sleeping. The rest of those we're doing other things for other people. So we will see how it goes. Okay. Stay blessed and take care of yourself.